hurt others. Whether you've been online for a few days, few weeks, or a few years, it can easily be argued that we've all used social media platforms these days. From the friendly Facebook post to the Instagram vacation picture, to the debates on Twitter, and even to the trendy videos on TikTok. All of us have seen something controversial by an influencer and the name Oni Jayas has probably appeared on many of your social media pages in the last few months. This very popular influencer is now labeled as TikTok villain by many people. Tables can turn quickly when you become famous overnight on social media and anything bad you've done or said in the past can be brought up against you at any moment. You are probably thinking what made this notorious TikTok influencer become one of the most hated content creator at the moment. Thankfully, you won't need to do any research as we've deep dive into exact details behind what happened to this infamous Oni Jayas from her beginnings to now. Strap yourself in for this raunchy video as you'll be scratching your head and questioning how crazy the internet is these days. Born on the 12th of April in 1999, Jayas or Oni Jayas, otherwise known as Isabella Avila, is a social media influencer. She started on YouTube in 2016 and she made her mark with numerous life hacks, humoristic TikTok videos since 2019. She was able to spark the craze of so many young people until today. Isabella actually wanted to use the name not Jayas but chose the nickname Oni Jayas because her original name idea was already taken. Avila is also a gamer, streamer, and entrepreneur from Las Vegas as she has multiple Twitch videos of her playing Minecraft, Grand Theft Auto, and Lion King amongst over hip and trendy video games. Fun fact, did you know JS used to work as a salesperson at Best Buy before becoming a TikTok star? Bet she didn't know that her life was about to change drastically with social media. Her massive popularity rose from her comedic and entertaining videos that are mostly about science, psychology, and life hacks. Some people refer to her as the psychology facts girl because of the type of content she shares with her 8.2 million of followers on TikTok. With such a great and endearing personality, it's hard to think that this well-known influencer was suddenly cancelled. What did she do that was so controversial that people decided to create a petition to have her banned from TikTok? Before we jump into that, let's take a trip back to memory lane to Isabella's childhood. Isabella Avila was mainly raised in a traditional American Christian family. She was well accepted in her life in school as she had a multitude of friends inside and out. She even made the basketball team and was known as the team's frequent MVP for competitions. Jayas comes from a family of 13, her two parents and 11 siblings. Talk about a huge household! Also, not many people know that, but Avila was actually in foster care from 16 years old to 21 years old, moving from one family to another. In her earlier teenage years, she came out as being lesbian, showing a strong confidence in her sexuality and her intimate life. This confidence followed through her social media platforms as she was quickly picked up by the TikTok heads to be one of the many stars to lead the first TikTok Pride event. Happy Pride Month! I'm absolutely honored to be a part of the first TikTok Pride event and to be able to call myself a trailblazer. She posted on Instagram at that time. Considering that she was only 14 when she was chosen, Isabella's confidence in herself did in fact persuade millions of other teenagers to run the same path. This furthered her social following as millions of people around the world started virtually lining up to see what this young star was going to post next. Of course, considering her following in the LGBTQ community, she pushed this agenda and continued to support the equal rights of the community and society. However, some mistakes of her past resurfaced in early 2021. Screenshots of old conversations when she was 17 were leaked and in these messages, the other content creator with who she was having an argument was labeled with an N-word and also with anti-gay slurs as the F-word. A very bad image for Jayas who then had to explain herself. Some followers believed that these messages were fake or not that bad due to the fact that she was only 17, meaning that she probably didn't really know. To make it extremely clear, it's not right and has never been right to speak negatively about other cultures, races, or other people's sexual identity. Even if it's a small remark in a heated conversation, Isabella was a teenager when it happened, but it is still inexcusable. Other people had totally different opinions on the situation and some stated that we live in a better world, 
a modern society that is educated about these issues and that no one should ever use these kind of words. Ultimately, Isabella ended up posting and breaking the silence. She said, In my past, I said disgusting things to people and I'm so ashamed of myself for using racist rhetoric and derogatory language to hate others because I knew what that word meant and I understood the power behind it. But I said it anyway because it was the meanest thing I could think of and I'm so sorry to everyone, but especially to those in the black community. Only Jayas also stated that the screenshots are not a reflection of who she is today. She ended the video by stating she would be sharing her platform with some amazing black creators who are going to tell their story and try to educate others on the trauma that happens when we use this kind of language. Hopefully, she will keep her promise if not already done. It's safe to state that for something that was defended by many followers as being fake news, it's hard to believe that it's truly fake if the creator themselves admitted to the deed, no? After the incident, she lost over 700,000 followers as they were no longer interested in her. Jayus also got into trouble for making a tasteless joke about stealing wallets from people who have service dogs. If a service dog ever approaches you but they're alone, that means that their owner is in trouble and they probably can't move, so you should follow him because you'll get a free wallet. Many content creators criticized her and were furious about this TikTok video. People said that what Avila described as a joke in the caption of the video is actually harmful. The video posted on May 22nd has millions of views and likes. All this drama has not gone unnoticed, to the point that a petition to have her banned from TikTok was launched on the website change.org. At the moment, more than 440,000 people have signed it. If it reaches 500,000 signatures, this will become one of the most signed petitions on change.org. These events shook the social media world to its core as this influencer had millions of followers over a wide array of ages, cultures, races, and of course, sexual identities. Jayus has disappointed many, but hopefully she has learned from her mistakes and will now think twice before speaking her mind when upset or making jokes. What do you think about cancel culture? Is it a toxic trend that needs to stop or is it effective to put some people in their place by canceling them over their bad behavior?